Hey guys, it's me. So, um, today's update is going to be a little bit different, um, because for one, it's on the wrong day, and for two, as you can see, I changed my background a little. Um, so what's going on today? Well, not a whole lot. I went to, um, the cancer center today and got the last of my test results. Everything looks really good. Um, as you guys know, I already told you I don't have to have that surgery done. So that is a plus. My knee is itching. Um, and so that's a very good thing. I'm really happy about that. Um, I am unhappy about the fact that before Aunt Flo showed her face, I had lost 3.8 pounds. Um, and when she showed up, I gained that back and then I don't know what's going on you know she left a couple days ago and a few days ago actually I went in and weighed today and today's weight is 192.2 so I'm basically back where I was three weeks ago now I don't know if that's just delayed in you know the water weight leaving or what's going on with that but um, that's where I stand today and there's, I'm doing a lot of things different right now. One of the main things that I'm doing different is I'm in the Transformation Academy. And in case I forgot to say it, thank you to Brad and Jen Kopp because I won one of the tuitions that they were giving away. And that's how I got to go to the Academy. So thank you, Brad and Jen. Um, but the thing is, I joined like all the groups that are inside the Academy. And so I'm taking in... Um, an extra 25% in water. I'm exercising an extra hour a day um, in order to get my steps in for the step club. And um, I don't know if I'm taking in too much water, if I'm overworking out and it's stealing my calories, which is causing my body to starve itself and hold on to everything it's getting. I don't know. So I think I'm going to just go back to doing what I was doing before the academy because I was averaging a good two pounds um, every way in and now I'm just not, I don't know. I don't know if that's the problem or not. But um, I'm going to do that and see. The academy lasts for four weeks, so, or actually more than four weeks. It's 40 days and we're on day 10. So I'm going to take the next 10 days go back to my regular schedule of things that I was doing um, because I don't want to up my calories and throw my body even worse out of whack than it already is. But, you know, I'm not too sad about the weight gain because it's weird. It's not showing in my sizes. I'm still wearing, actually, the um, skirt that I had bought, um, the 16, 18 that I bought is actually fitting loose now. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm gaining muscle. You guys might can tell me that. But I got a huge NSV today. Um, I guess you call it NSV. I went into um, Save a Lot to pick up some things for dinner tonight. And I ran into my friend Brittany, who I've not seen since I... I think I saw her once immediately after I got banded. I don't even think I did my follow-up from surgery um, last time I saw her. And she come around the corner, she was like, oh my God, you are so skinny. And so that made me feel so good. I was like, yes, you know, somebody that's not saw me, you know, because my husband sees me every day. And even he, you know, last night he, I was asking him, I was like, do you think I've lost anymore? I have to get weighed tomorrow. I want to go to the cancer center. And he said, I think you have, but you know, you know, he sees me every day, but he also sees that. I'm trying on clothes that are not fitting me, um, you know, things in the bedroom are different now, um, my sex is better, everything is better, I'm able to get out and walk, I'm able to do things that I just couldn't do before, and he sees that, and it's really funny, because we were laying on the bed last night, and I was just, you know, chilling out, and look, first of all, look at this, I bought this last year, um, it's one of my, um, daughter's school shirts, um, you know, show your teen spirit or whatever, because my daughter plays volleyball, and it didn't fit, really, and I thought, well, I'm going to pull it out and see if it fits, and now it's too big, so that's really exciting. I'm laying on the bed, and um, I was like, wow, I can feel, you know, 
completely fill all my rib my rib cage now and my husband was like laying there and he said hey what's that and I'm like um, I don't know and I felt and I can feel my sternum my sternum bone so that was like totally awesome I was really excited about that and of course y'all can see my collarbone is still showing its happy self and so you know the weight gain I'm not too upset our bodies change so fast um, and it really is just a number on the scale. It does change that fast, and um, so I'm not worried. I don't go. I thought my appointment to get my fill was tomorrow, but my cousin texted me and reminded me um, our fill appointment is the 18th. So I go on the 18th to get a fill. I've still got seven more days to see what my weight's going to do before I have to go in and see my surgeon, who is the one that makes such a big deal out of my weight. So I'm going to go and see what happens with that. Hopefully it'll be back down so he won't be all upset because, you know, he gets that way. But, um, yeah, so it's a good day. I'm very, very happy with the way things are right now except for I need this. i got to figure out what my body's trying to do um, as far as. I don't know if it's overcompensating or what it's trying to do, but this thing with the Back to Basics Academy is, I think it's thrown everything off. But anyways, um, I, I want to just say thanks to everybody that's been um, so supportive. Um, I want to send out my hugs and prayers to Downsizing Danielle, um, who lost a friend this week. Um, Danielle, I'm really sorry about your loss. And, you know, you got my number. If you need me, call me. Um, special thoughts and prayers going out to my best friend, Ginger Harada. Um, Ginger, I, I don't really know what to say. I'm praying for you. You know, those of us who are on Facebook with Ginger, and, and she talked about it a little bit in her last video. She's having some issues with her bowels and things, just not working the way they're supposed to. And... Um, it's for her to give details, so I'm not giving details, but, um, keep Ginger in your prayers and Danielle in your prayers, and, um, I just love everybody. I want to say thank you to Bandage Twin. You have made my experience with the B2B Academy, um, just super awesome. I'm enjoying myself. It's fun. It's, it's a great way to be accountable. It's a lot more accountability than I'm used to, um, but that's good. You know, I think that once it's done, it scares me. I'm going to get this relief, like, oh, I don't have to be accountable now um, for a little while. And I don't want that to be an issue for me. But I'm very, very good right now. And that's the phone. So I'm going to end this video.